The COVID-19 pandemic is a public health disaster that must be understood as the effect of complex contradictions between human production and reproduction and ecology. Political ecology helps us to see these contradictions as the effect of enormous power inequalities in global social metabolism, that is, the exchange of matter and energy between societies and the environment. The pandemic originates from long-term manipulations of the biosphere on the part of big corporations and powerful economic interests with profoundly unequal effects upon human populations along class, racial, sex, gender, spatial, and other discriminations. Feminist political ecology puts patriarchy into the equation. It tells us that the ecological crisis results from the unequal valuation of work in capitalist industrial modernity, so that some kinds of labor, the bodies and lives which perform it, the places, the places where they live, can be sacrificed to profit and to economic growth. Feminist political ecology has shown how sexual and racial division of labor at all scales are a key mechanism of capitalist industrial growth and a root cause of the persistent poverty and violence against women and racialized populations worldwide. This is deeply connected to the COVID-19 pandemic. In fact, pushing women off the land and food production to make space for industrial farming with its enormous concentrations of land and power and its destructive effects upon wildlife habitats has created the conditions for the destruction of wildlife habitats and the spread of viruses from animals to humans. Feminist political ecology research has important implications for policy making and for social movements acting through the pandemic because it points to the need for tackling the inequalities that have led to the present crisis. This perspective has led me to contribute to the Care Income campaign promoted by the Global Women's Strike and Women of Color movement that recognizes the crucial value of care work, both towards people and towards the environment, as a means for a radical change in occupational policies and a socially just post-carbon transition based on the priority of reproduction. The care income could be funded by dropping financial support to destructive industries such as fossil fuels and the arms trade, but also, for example, to industrial farming, like the support granted by Europe's agricultural policies, using the same amount of money to support peasant agriculture and agroecology instead. This would be a key step towards preventing further ecological damage and new risks for human health, including new pandemics.